Hello everyone and welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name is Michael and I'm bitten by Radioactive Book. Today is Tic Tac Tuesday and in my description box I said that I would be doing the 2014 tag this week but actually I was tagged to do the Grinch book tag and I thought the Grinch would be more appropriate for Christmas, um, for the Christmas week so I'm postponing the 2014 tag to next week uh, so you can look forward to that, um, yeah. Uh, next Tuesday, but today I'm going to do the Grinch book tag. And the Grinch book tag was created by Samantha from Thoughts on Tomes, and I was tagged by another Samantha from Novels and Nonsense. So thank you, Sams, for creating an awesome tag and for tagging me within uh, it. So let's get started and embrace the inner Grinch. Question 1 is, half the lights on the Christmas tree are burned out. Name a book, series or character that started out good but then went downhill. Um, and I'm going to shamelessly steal an answer here, because um, Patty from I Smell Books had a very, very good answer for uh, that one. Uh, and it is Dana from The Name of the Wind or from The King Coin... Er, King Killer Chronicle series by Patrick Rothfuss and I had the feeling that in the first book and in the beginning of the first book she started out as a very intriguing character and I could see why Quoth would be interested in her but as the series progresses I get more and more annoyed with her character and I want to shake Quoth and say stay away from that lady. Question 2 is Annoying Great Aunt Sally, who will never leave you alone. Name a book that you didn't enjoy, but everyone else seems to love, so it never goes away. Um, as I read mainly uh, adult science fiction and fantasy, I don't have the feeling that I have a book that is so hyped up, especially on YouTube, um, that it never goes away. Uh, Probably I would give like the answer um, of Ancillary Justice um, by Anne Leckie because it won the Hugo this year and it's uh, one of the most discussed books of last year and this year, of course. And I uh, didn't really care for it. I uh, saw like the intellectual merit it has and I can see why people like it and uh, why it won the Hugo, but I personally wasn't interested in what it had to tell as, as a book, like the story and the characters, I didn't connect with that at all. So maybe that would be my answer for that. Question 3 is your pets are knocking over the Christmas decoration. Name a character that kept messing up things up for everyone else. And I can't pick a villain. Uh, that is quite easy. That is Tassel of Burfoot from the Dragonlance series by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Eggman. Uh, Tassel of Burfoot is a Kender, and a Kender is a, a race of yeah uh, people of short height, and um, they are very nosy, and they are uh, um, kleptomanics. So uh, he's stealing a lot. Um, he calls it borrowing. And uh, of course, uh, he, as he is so nosy, when the rest of the party is always like in a room and discusses, oh, shall we do this or shall we do that? He is like two uh, doors uh, farther on in the dungeon and is already, yeah, uh, wrecking havoc everywhere. And uh, he's a very entertaining character and I really like him. But some of his actions or many of his actions uh, led to total chaos for the uh, party. Question 4. You hear your parents putting out the presents and learn Santa isn't real. Name a book you were spoiled for. Um, I, I'm not sure if I was really spoiled for, for a book. I'm not sure if that ever happened. Um, I spoiled myself um, for a character death in... Um, uh, in The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson because I was reading up on the uh, wiki 
about some of the of the characters in the series because I wanted to refresh my mind and then for one of the characters I read uh, that um, uh, he's going to die uh, in the book um, but that might be the closest thing that happened to uh, to spoilers for me. Question 5. It's freezing outside. Name a main character you couldn't connect with. Um, again, I have to pick like Breck from the uh, book Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie because Breck is kind of a combination of uh, a human and an AI. Um, I don't want to go into the specifics to tell you um, exactly what Bragg is, because that is one of the uh, more interesting things uh, to find out in Ancillary Justice. But due to the fact that the AI part plays a large role in uh, the character's yeah, whole behavior, I felt very distanced from Bragg. And I always had the feeling that uh, Bragg was a very cold character. And it's quite interesting to read from a character's point of view that is uh, detached um, so much from uh, from human emotions, for example. Um, but of course, you as the reader then detach from that character as well, and that is what happened to me. And therefore, I yeah choose uh, Brack for this. Question six is Mariah Carey's "All I Want for Christmas Is You," and it's giving you anti-romantic feelings. Name a couple you couldn't stand. Yeah, um, the books I read are not about couples. S simply put, yeah, relationships uh, in in that regard. Uh, um, so no, no, don't play like a role. I I can't stand. Uh, I can't think of a of a couple that I I really couldn't stand. Question seven: That scratchy homemade wool sweater you got for Christmas years ago, but won't get rid of. Show some books that have been sitting on your shelves for a while and you aren't motivated to read, but you don't have the heart to get rid of. Um, yeah, I mainly read ebooks, but I'm trying to get you something. I have something in mind. Wait a sec. Here we go, and it's am I in a frame? Yeah, and it's Neil Stevenson's uh, Anathem, uh, and this is a science fiction novel. I, as you can see, I bought a couple of years ago because um, I still have it as a physical copy, uh, and I never got to reading it. I hear a lot of great things about Neil Stevenson, but I also hear a lot of things that it's very complex and complicated to read him, that his um, yeah books are filled with a lot of math, for example, and I, I'm not a big, like, math guy. Uh, so I can do, like, basic calculations, but I never was really interested in uh, in, in higher mathematics and uh, playing around with formulas and stuff like that that uh, yeah was never of, of, of great interest for me and I uh, didn't learn about that or uh, if I learned I forgot about that and so I think I wouldn't enjoy a story uh, that is um, yeah or that gets some of its uh, enjoyment out of uh, knowing about math and uh, yeah, so so I'm quite hesitant uh, to to read it, but I, on the one hand I want to read it, and so I don't want to give it away. Uh, I normally don't give books away anyway, so yeah, there you have it. It's enough. Question eight is Grandma get run over by a reindeer? <sighs> yeah, that happens all the time. Um, name a character death you still are mad about. Warn people for spoilers. You can also use TV or movie death. Um, name a character death you are still mad about. Um, I can't, um, cause um, I'm I'm a very detached reader, as I as I said, and I'm more the type that is like, oh, way to go, George R. R. Martin! You killed this character as well. I didn't see that coming. 
good for you. Nice choice there. Very interesting. So yeah, that's that's more my my mindset. So I'm not really mad about uh, characters dying. I'm always like, oh yeah, well, surprise. That that makes the story more interesting. So yeah, so no madness. Question nine is the malls are overcrowded with holiday shoppers. Name a series that has too many books in it and went on too long. Wow. Um, again, uh, I'm. I don't think I can name one. Um, I'm. I'm not sure. You could. Of course, as a science fiction and fantasy reader, name like the huge shared universes, like the Forgotten Realms or like the Dragonlands universe, because these shared universes were, yeah, m milked a lot. Um, you had like some some main books that were quite successful, and then there were like a thousand companion series uh, wrote under pseudonyms by various authors um, and the quality was very like yeah uh, so so there were some good books in them but there were also some uh, some pretty mediocre books in them so maybe those uh, uh, ran ran too long but Question 10 is The Grinch. Name a main character you hate. Again, no villains. <sighs> hate is a very strong word and <clears throat> I personally don't hate uh, characters. Most of the characters I dislike, I dislike because they are, uh, I think, boring for me or maybe not that relatable and that usually uh, happens for the trope of like the the orphan boy who becomes the hero in, in a story. I often don't care for them because maybe sometimes uh, for me the, the age difference is too big and I'm annoyed by all the childish and juvenile be behavior uh, of the characters. So I have a few characters like uh, Kip from Brand Week's um, uh, Lightbringer series or Tavi from uh, Jim Butcher's um, Furies of Calderon, uh, no, Codex Alera series, Furies of Calderon is, is the first book uh, that I don't particularly care for and that I found very uh, boring um, to, to read about and didn't have a connection with. So I would go with those characters. So that's it for the Grinch tag. I hope this didn't ruin your Christmas. If it didn't, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of me, subscribe to my channel. If you want to know what's coming up on my channel, look inside the description box. There's a little segment there called On the Horizon. I wish you a good day and hope you get bitten by a really good book too. Bye.